Hello Eagles, welcome to The Talon hosted by Boston College Television. This is Steven and on today's segment we will be providing you with coverage on all things Eagles sports. From an overview of the men and women's basketball teams and hockey seasons to an update on our defending NCAA champions women lacrosse team. And we're here to recap our current standings and exciting news. Two weeks ago, fencing began to mark the start of the first phase of construction on the north side of Conti Forum. The Hogue Basketball Pavilion will be a comprehensive, self-contained basketball practice facility with roughly 40,000 square feet of basketball-specific space for the Eagles' men's and women's basketball programs. Among the other features of the Hogue Basketball Pavilion are a 2,200 square foot strength and conditioning center, a 1 1,400 square foot sport medicine center for student athletes student treatment and rehabilitation and a 2,100 square foot locker room with a dedicated lounge and video room for scouting and instruction. Eagles men's basketball has had quite a year in its first year being led by new head coach Earl Grant going to its first ACC tournament quarterfinal since 2017 defeating the 12th ranked Pitt Panthers in the first round and stunning the basketball world in taking down the number five ranked Wake Forest Demon Deacons to then fall to the number four ranked Miami Hurricanes and what was known as a nail-biting finish. The Eagles finished the season 13 and 20 overall, starting out the season really well and sending shockwaves throughout the ACC in defeating the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, Virginia Tech Hokies, and Florida State Seminoles at home and a miracle win away at Clemson showing just how much Coach Grant is changing the Eagles basketball culture here in the Heights. This year was also the last year of three seniors on the team, Makai Ashton Langford, Brevin Galloway, and James Karnick. They were all very critical pieces in making a very successful first year squad for Earl Grant, and we thank them for all their hard work and determination. Good luck to them in their future endeavors. As for the current squad, freshman Jaden Zachary, junior Quentin Post being named to the 2022 ACC All-Tournament team and one of the best sixth men in the league and sophomore DeMar Langford Jr. each had their own spotlight this season and we hope they carry this kind of momentum into the next season along with a new class of recruits. And speaking of recruits, the 2022-23 season will bring much more talent to the Heights in the form of four star Prince of League Bay, three star recruit Donald Hand and Chas Kelly and unranked Armani Mighty. Showing a lot of promise into his second season reminding us all at BC that basketball is gritty, not pretty. Eagles women basketball is currently on a two-game winning streak in the WNIT tournament after going 21-11 and 11 in the regular season. Senior guard Cameron Schwartz had a breakout year winning ACC Most Improved Player as well as earning ACC First Team Honors. The future is looking bright for this program with center Maria Gagden being named to the ACC All-Freshman Team. After a great performance last year, BC's men's hockey had a relatively disappointing season, finishing 8th in the Hockey East regular season and lost in the quarterfinal round to Northeastern at Matthews Arena by a score of 2-3. The game ended our season and was the last game in an Eagles jersey for seniors Jack St. Ivney, Casey Cadru, Patrick Glyce, and Mark McLaughlin. However, several plays for BC really stood out this year and we should take a moment to recognize their great achievements. Senior Jack McBang had been named a finalist for Hockey East Player of the Year award. Jack McBang also made the second team as a Hockey East All-Star this past season. Jack McBang set his career high in goals 19.33 in 24 games played this season. Jack also represented Team Canada at the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. Jack signed a two-year contract with the Arizona Coyotes lately. Junior Drew Hallison, number four on the BC's men's hockey team, was recently signed to the Anaheim Ducks to a three-year entry-level contract. Drew represented Team USA at the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing, had one assist in three games. Hallison was accompanied to Beijing by senior captain Mark, M Mark McLaughlin and senior Jack McBain. When the three players were away for the competition, the team suffered through a 12-game winless streak. Upon the boys' return, the team came back strong with a four-game win streak, beating our rival BU and UMass. What's more, the Boston Bruins signed BC senior captain Mark McLaughlin to a two-year entry-level contract. The Massachusetts native served as captain for two seasons 
and set his career high in goals, 21, and point 32 during his senior season. He also represented Team USA at the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. Jerry York, the winningest head coach in college hockey, was introduced to the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame last December. BC has a really good recruiting class coming, so we are looking forward to having the boys buzzing in county next year. Now moving on to the women's hockey team, who had a season quite full of awards and accomplishments. Freshman Abby Newhook had a great start to her BC hockey career, being named a finalist for the National Rookie of the Year Award and winning the title of Rookie of the Year within Hockey East. Senior Abby Levy had her 100th collegiate appearance on the ice this past season after being named a semi-finalist for the 2022 National Goalie of the Year Award. As the top goaltender of the women's beanpot, she earned the Bertagna Award in early February. Junior Hannah Bilka was named a Hockey East First Team All-Star player. Courtney Kennedy, associate coach of the BC women's hockey team, was brought on to the U.S. Olympic team as an assistant coach. Three BC women's hockey players also made the team. Caleb Barnes, Megan Keller, and alumna Alex Carpenter. Our women's lacrosse team has started off the season incredibly strong, with an impressive record of 9-1. Thankfully, there are still a lot of opportunities to see the girls play at home. They will be an alumni on Friday, April 22nd, to take on Syracuse at 6 p.m. Make sure to come out to support. The team has a whopping goal of 182 goals so far this season, while their opponents have only scored 96 goals against them. Charlotte North, who announced last season that she would be returning to BC Lacrosse for another year, leads the team with 49 goals so far, an impressive shot percentage of 57%. North was a key player in our team's success last season, leading them to win the national championship last May. Last season, she scored a shocking 102 goals over 21 games and became the record holder for the most goals in the ACC. Rachel Hall, our starting goalie, has made an incredible 42 saves so far this season. This summer, players Dempsey Arsenal, Sam Apuzo, and Charlotte North were chosen to play at the Women's Lacrosse World Championship. Congrats, girls. Keep up the good work. Boston College Baseball defeated Holy Cross 17-2 in their home opener at the Harrington Athletics Village. The Eagles scored in each of the first six innings, scoring four runs in both the first and the second. And not without the help of some star players, including sophomore right fielder Cameron Leary, who scored four of the Eagles' runs and went two for three with a two-run triple and two walks. Joe Bertrano, sophomore first baseman, reached base in all five plate appearances, going three for three with three runs and two walks. Mason Pelio, a senior right-hander, got the win after a one-inning start where he struck out two. The Eagles improved to 7-8 and eight and they face the Northeastern Huskies tonight in Brookline. That wraps up our segment for today, folks. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to look out for another Boston College Sports Update soon. In the meantime, this is Steven signing off for BCTV's The Talon. Rawr!